What's up, guys? Derek Moore, PlaysmoreDates.com. Today, we're going to be talking about the time between HGH administrations that would be needed for maximizing lipolysis and not, you know, wasting product and stressing your body out unnecessarily um, with exorbitant amounts of GH. Because some people think it's just a dose dependent increase in fat loss. Some people think that uh, more is better. And there's a common saying like how much can you afford is like the best amount of GH. <laughs> and that's definitely not the case in my opinion. So if you're using something like 4IU at once, the lipolytic benefits you can render out of that is inhibited by homeostatic mechanisms in the body to, you know, sort of like how myostatin and other, you know, like AR expression is sort of like regulated once you are in super physiological territory of anabolic steroids. There's, there's homeostatic mechanisms for anything. And there's a diminishing returns effect with everything as well. So in GH, once you get, once you get to that like max dose of lipolysis that you can yield the most fat loss out of with an administration, which I've covered in a previous video, due to the pulsatile nature of the human endogenous GH production cells in the body expect a period of inactivity after each uh, GH secretion. So there's a mechanism in place to prevent cell activity after each pulse, even if you're pinning more than you can possibly utilize, there's a counteracting mechanism in place to inhibit that. That means if you're pinning multiple shots of GH throughout the day, you're not really, if you haven't let your cells kind of like return to baseline, you're not inducing additional fat loss above and beyond what, you know, what you think you're doing. In fact, you're just pushing the IGF-1 pathway unnecessarily if the goal is maximal fat loss here. So, you know, for the max effective dose for a 100 kilogram bodybuilder, let's just say it's around 1.35 IU, which is what I outlined in my previous video. Doing that every, you know, couple hours, it's not like you're burning additional fat throughout that period. You're just cranking your IGF-1 up unnecessarily if fat loss is the goal here. So in a fat loss, you know, max lipolysis context, waiting for that refractory period to kind of, you know, complete and cell sensitivity to return is what would ensure maximum lipolysis with the minimum effective dose and not taxing the body unnecessarily. So that could be something like 1.35 IU um, twice per day, like every 12 hours or something like that. And um, that would ideally be, you know, prior to first the first shot being prior to some sort of like fasted cardio in the morning, low intensity, steady state. And then the second one could be, you know, pre or post workout or something like that. It kind of depends on the schedule of the, uh, you know, person in question. Obviously this would be somebody with a prescription ideally because, you know, you only do stuff if it's legal and it's prescribed to you. And this is not advice and nothing to be construed as any kind of uh, performance enhancing advice, obviously. So just in a general, you know, if you're prescribed, you know, two to three IUs by your doctor, you know, whatever, then that is the context in which I believe lipolysis would be maxed out and you would get the most bang for your buck rather than doing, you know, several IUs all at once or, you know, during that refractory period where you're going to get an inhibited outcome then would otherwise be achievable should you have spread that out more uh, optimally, in my opinion. So take from that what you will. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, check out my blog, moreplacemoredays.com if you want to get emails every time I post an article. They're far more elaborate and in depth than these videos where I sort of just ramble a bit and they have, you know, concise subsections with clinical studies referenced for you to delve into further yourself. Highly recommend you subscribe to the mailing list. First link in the description below. Follow me on Instagram at moreplates underscore more dates, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, BitChute, TikTok, wherever I am, Apple Podcasts. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.